my secret in confession is that I'm a man that has reached his breaking point. Ever since I was a little boy, I've always wondered, what is it that I've said or what is it that I have done that meant I would not matter as much as those around me? Why can't we all have someone? Why can't we all have a true friend? I... I never was afforded the gift of having a bond with my brothers. I had a father who chose drugs over me. I had a mother who was so consumed in her depression. It's like every relationship I was ever in ever lasted. My God, how pathetic am I? I'm 36 years old and I have nothing to show for my life. My presence and absence in this world, I don't think even matters. And I'm afraid that one day I'll be alone, dried up and sick in some nursing home, taking my last breath in some dark, empty room. And I don't feel like there's going to be anything that's going to change my mind. So I'll just live on. Wondering what's next. Hi. Um. So my biggest secret is that my dad passed away a couple years ago. According to everyone else, he passed away. He was hit by a car. But um, I still talk to him, and he still walks with me, and he's right by my side all the time and I don't I don't know if it's what is going on but people think that he's dead and I don't I don't think he is he was really my best friend in this whole world and the only person I ever really talked to nobody else ever sees him but but I do so when I first told somebody about it they just thought that I was crazy and I had to go to a therapist but nobody else believes me when I tell them that he's not dead and that he's like in the room with us or that he's right next to me or, um so really I don't know how to ever tell anybody and so I don't tell anybody when I'm talking to him and I feel bad because sometimes I want to be out in public when I talk to him the most when I have questions for him I'm like you know what toothpaste should I get or Maybe I ask him how I should approach a certain situations, but I can't because people will just think I'm crazy. And, uh, yeah, that's my secret. It's not really a secret, but me and this girl have been dating for about six months, and I've been single for about three years. And she's the first person I felt comfortable with. Um, recently, she broke up with me because she said I loved her too much, basically. Which is kind of hard to hear because I really don't let anyone in because of that exact reason. She did tell me that... She could never love me as much as I love her, but the truth is I was just happy, and I exposed myself too much, I guess. Now I'm alone, and it hurts. Hey, so I had to call back again to... um. Yeah, um, so I have started for about 12 years now, and sometimes I 
really hate myself for that. Um, I know that my friends and family um, don't care if I do stutter or not, but um, sometimes I just just think that I can't keep a job because I am afraid that people will judge me because I stutter. So, um, Um, I just sometimes don't want to be here because people don't understand how sometimes it is so depressing to see someone just look at you and judge you <laughs> as you happen to talk differently. Um, it has gotten better, but I do want to say that if I learned that a person should not give up. So I am trying to live by that every day. So thank you. Bye. Hi, Thariya. My secret is that when I was in sixth grade, I got a cat and I named him Joseph. And for whatever reason, I started speaking him for him in an English accent. And this sounds crazy saying this out loud. I don't know why I did this. But anytime, like, he would be doing something or, like, anytime he looked like he had an attitude or, like, I don't even know how to describe this, but animal people will know. Like, I would just talk for him in an English accent. And so last year, I was 26. And unfortunately, he did not come home. And to help myself cope with his probable death of what happened to him, I just pretended that he went back to London to kind of live it up there and visit family. And so that's why he just never came home. My secret is that in my spare time, I create fake social media movements. Um, and I'm not going to mention them um, just because I don't want anyone to find them and relate them back to me, but um, I target these so these obscure things and make fake infographics and pictures about them, and people eat it up. They love it. Okay, so my funny kind of weird secret is um I really like this like the scent of my best friend so whenever he comes over and sits on the couch I'll go over and like smell where he was like I'll like smell where his back was because I really like how he smells all the time like it, it doesn't really change so and I also just really love him too as a friend so it's like when I miss him, I'll go over there. I'll go over to like where he sit, usually sits on my couch or if he's sitting somewhere else and I'll go and I'll like put my nose to it and just smell it because it, it makes me feel better. It's almost like, like drugs or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's my secret. And I wonder if anyone else does this. It would be kind of cool to see. But yeah, thanks. My secret is that I am a middle school teacher and I hate the kids. I hate them. 
I want to scream and quit every single day. But I can't. I just go to work every single day hating my life. My secret is that I don't think I have emotions. Like, I'm really good at faking emotions. I'm really good at, you know, crying on cue or or seeming like I'm happy or seeming like I'm sad. But deep down, I don't really feel anything. Um, I don't really know if that's normal. <laughs> yeah. I just thought I'd share, so thank you. Hey, uh, Zaria. Um, I already uh, left a voicemail, but I think I was speaking, I was whispering a lot <laughs> because I wasn't alone uh, in my house, but right now I have privacy, so. Uh, well, uh, <sighs> my secret is that... Um, when I was six years old, um, in elementary school, uh, I, I, I was, uh, uh, I went to the bathroom, um, during class. And when I got to the bathroom, um, I realized that I, there was no, like, toilet paper, but it was too late because I already, uh, I don't know, I had, like, diarrhea. When I was when when I was done with it, I I realized that the situation. I was like, oh my god, I don't I don't have um, toilet paper. What am I gonna do? And well, I basically just went back to the classroom. Um, it was pretty sad actually. Even though it's um, I laugh, uh, you know, about it. Um, it's super embarrassing. Um, because uh, my classmates made a lot of fun of you know of me, and they thought that I had uh, my pants. <sighs> and um, throughout my life, I I've been having you know this like trauma, and it's got to the point with uh, that um, when I go to the bathroom, I actually spend spend like five minutes or more cleaning or wiping my ass it doesn't matter what I can see the zeal of the poop I have um I always I'm afraid that I haven't cleaned properly and it's it's been super bad I I usually avoid going to public restrooms uh because sometimes it takes a lot a lot a lot of time just in the wiping because it's like I don't know if it's like an OCD I keep repeating it um and well it actually got to the point that uh when i was like 16 years old i tried to kill myself and that was one of the reasons why because no one really knows the extent of my trauma of that single day and i hate it and that's why she hi Soraya. This is not a secret that I want to share. I simply want to say thank you. Just recently, I was scrolling and ran across your Instagram post. I want to say thank you for what you're doing. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a therapist. But in my heart, as I heard those people speak, what came to me was that sometimes when you release a secret out verbally, that it helps. So it's very powerful that what you're doing in my eyes, and I simply wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And thank you for your detailed message in terms of the legalities in everything that you're doing. I accept everything that you say, that's why I've chose to leave a message. So on behalf of the world and those people that are calling, I really hope that they overcome their difficulties and their inner 
demons as you will and become absolutely happy. And to you, and I say thank you, thank you, thank you.